this element called psychological evaluation is extremely important because you may face lot of situation where it would be required that you are able to take a very balanced view you do not get swayed by emotions you do not get swayed by very impulsive kind of decision interviewing panel it consists of very seasoned people and they understand this within a minute or two and this is what we do during our mocks also we have got a very good panel and through this panel we would like to evaluate your personality your character your understanding of the constitution your understanding of this country and its people so with this kind of an experience i can say with lot of humility that i understand what values and what attributes are being looked into while the candidate is being examined by the interviewing panel and as you must be knowing this interview is not the test of your knowledge because the knowledge has already been tested in the written examination it is basically the evaluation of your personality evaluation of your character and your psychological built up regarding your suitability for the services so i would like to tell you that when you go to the interviewing board these are the parameters which would be evaluated like your character whether you are truthful or not whether you have got a soft heart for the disadvantages section of the society or not whether you are in a position to analyze a particular situation and you are expected to react to such situation in a manner which reflects your maturity in terms of thinking process in terms of planning your actions and in terms of taking a particular view many a times there may be a very different views and these different views may all these views may be correct but when we ask question it is expected that you will be able to justify your stand on a very very logical reason but there may be many question where we would like to expect a very categorical answer and these are basically question related to constitution the values enshrined in the constitution we cannot deviate from the values which are enshrined in the constitution come what may there may be political pressure there may be some other pressure there may be some inducement but it is expected that as a good candidate for the civil service you would take a stand on such values but there may be many tricky situations i give an example like whether it is a good idea to have reservation for women in the ups examination there may be two views because large number of now girls are getting into the civil services that means on their own they are able to get into the services and that means there may not be a requirement for reservation on the other hand there is another view which says that if you can provide reservation to women in the parliament or in the state assemblies or in the at the panchayat level why can't you get reservation to women in the upsc examination you have to take a call and this is what we teach you when you come for the mocks idea is to prepare you to face these question fearlessly frankly and confidently idea is not to give you knowledge that knowledge you can always pick up through google through books and whole lot of other things idea is to give you a some kind of an assurance some kind of an confidence that you can tackle such tricky situation and you do not appear to be a nervous or not sure of your answers or you are giving those answers which are not coming from your heart i must tell you and i must warn you also that many a times you feel that you can give a very convenient answer and you can get away with that interviewing panel it consists of very seasoned people and they understand this within a minute or two and this is what we do during our mocks also we have got a very good panel and through this panel we would like 
to evaluate your personality, your character, your understanding of the constitution, your understanding of this country and its people. Idea is that whether you are suitable for this kind of a job or not because it is an extremely, extremely important job, not for you, but for the country. So, the country would like to have the best suitable person, best suited person for this services. So, I will stop here. Please look into these aspects and take your call. As you say, the, that psychological evaluation of a candidate is very important. You must have observed that in all senior and important organization, whether it is Google or Facebook or Indian Army or Indian Defense or any other organization and now in UPSC also, this element called psychological evaluation is extremely important. Because you may face lot of situations where it would be required that you are able to take a very balanced view. You do not get swayed by emotions. You do not get swayed by very impulsive kind of decision. You should be able to keep a balance in the most difficult situations. I give you an example like when Ayodhya mosque was getting demolished what is right, what is wrong, what should we do. I know that because at that point of time I was in the control room of Lucknow on that very night. So, whole lot of pressure there is similarly at the time of uh, Mandal Commission we were the collector and again there was huge, huge pressure on each one of us how to tackle this Ram Bhakt, what should we do, how should we treat them and that kind of thing. So, in government and especially in the Indian administrative services and other civil services, you will face many situations which would call upon you to take a very balanced and a decision which is in the interest of people and in the interest of the, uh, in the, interest of the country and which has to be within the four corners of rules, regulation and law and especially the constitution. And that is why the psychological evaluation is very important and that is what we try to evaluate during your mocks and if there is any shortcoming, we would like to prepare you to face real interview at the UPSC. The first and the foremost is the quality of the character and in that quality of character, the most important is whether he is truthful or not, whether he or she is truthful or not. Because if you are not truthful, you will never be able to lead, you will never be able to guide, you will never be able to behave as a good team member as well. So, it is very necessary that you should be truthful number one. Secondly, that if you are not truthful, that means you are trying to give some answers which are not quite correct in the eyes of law, in the eyes of the rules and regulation, even the, in the eyes of the propriety. And it is very important as uh, uh, Aristotle somewhere has said that whenever you speak, there are three most or whenever you are trying to influence somebody and while you are a part of the civil servant, the most important aspect of yours is to influence people and to take them or navigate them to a particular course of action. And for that, three things are very important. First, your uh, argument, basically the reasoning power. That is, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, egos, or the ethos, and uh, logos. First is logos. That means the logic, the reasoning. And second is your um, your psychological, the, you should understand the psychological makeup of your audience. When you are talking to politicians, that is a different, when you are talking to your people or your team member, that is different, when you are talking to the citizen, then it is a different. So, you must understand that is basically the psycho. And the third is your ethos, the your credibility. So, you evaluate person's credibility by looking into the answers 
of the candidates. You see, idea is not to unnerve a candidate. We will never try to intimidate a candidate because that is not our objective. Our objective is to prepare him or her for the final interview. If we intimidate a candidate, it is serving no purpose. So, we would like to basically do some kind of a hand holding so that he or she prepares himself or herself for the final day. And that is what we try to tell the candidate how to behave, how to answer, how to structure their answers and what needs to be avoided, what is to be included in the answer, all these things. You see, when we face a candidate, we do not look into the family background of that particular candidate. We do not look into the financial background of that candidate. We would like to understand what kind of a candidate he or she is, whether he is truthful, whether he is logical, whether he enshrines the value or whether he, he supports the values enshrined in the constitution, whether he has got a soft heart for the disadvantaged section of, of the society or not, because people who are rich, who have got connection, they can always find ways and means of getting their things done. Our job is basically to support those who are poor, who are from shul caste, who are from backward category, who are from shul tribes, minorities, women, all these disadvantaged sections of society, they had to be taken up so that they join the mainstream of the society. Because only then the society and for that matter the country will make progress and that is the objective of the civil services as well.